morning. You guys can hear me, yes? Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm Kimberly Ferguson Walter. I'm the PM for this program. Um, I'm gonna give you uh, just an introductory to Proposers Day real quick. Next slide. So welcome to the Rescind Proposers Day, um, and thank you for your interest in the program and participation in this event. Um, we also have our remote participants um, who are going to be involved. We have some remote speakers, and um, of course they'll be listening to everything. Uh, and to assure a clear broadcast, the audio and video are disabled for the remote participants. Um, so comments and questions can be submitted in one of three ways, uh, using the WebEx chat feature um, for remote participants, or emailing the alias, which is the one you've been dealing with, the Proposers Day alias during the meeting. And then for in-person participants, we have index cards. I believe they're at the registration desk. Um, so you can pick up blank ones there and you can return them there as well. Um, so we won't be fielding questions during the talks themselves. Next slide. So what are the goals of Proposers Day? So the goals are to familiarize participants with IARPA's outline of the Rescind program and to solicit questions and feedback. Um, so you should have gotten an email letting you know that the draft technical description is up on the sam.gov website. Um, so that provides additional details and you can ask questions and provide feedback on that as well. Um, so goal number two is to foster discussion of complementary capabilities among potential participants or teaming. Um, so there's more teaming information on the website including teaming and capability forms. Uh, so an attendance list with contact details for those who opted in will be distributed after uh, the event. And then the chat feature um, on the WebEx is enabled for future discussions um, for those that are remote. Uh, teaming forms, capability summaries, the lightning talks and posters will be publicly posted on the IARPA website until the BAA submission closes. So please take this opportunity to ask questions, provide feedback. This is your chance to alter the course of events. And please talk with each other and find great team members. Next slide. So some disclaimers. Uh, this presentation is provided solely for information and planning purposes. Uh, proposer's Day does not constitute a formal solicitation for proposals or abstracts. Nothing said by anyone here today changes the requirements that'll be set forth in the actual BAA. The BAA language supersedes anything presented or said by IARPA or anyone else um, here today. Um, this meeting is being recorded and will be posted for public viewing. And those who are viewing this after the fact, e email aliases, POCs may be out of date and please just refer to the website. Next slide. So feedback and questions. Uh, questions can be submitted until 9.40 a.m. Um, uh, Pacific time or 12.40 p.m. Eastern time. So there will be a break after the contracting presentation. The break starts at 9.30, so we're gonna give you guys 10 minutes into the break to ask questions, um, and then we're going to uh, try to answer those questions uh, at, after the break, so at 11 a.m. Pacific or 2 p.m. Eastern. So um, please don't log out of your WebEx connection. Um, all the programmatic, technical, and contractual questions will be captured, um, but only a subset will be answered today. Um, feedback about the draft technical description may still be submitted to the alias, and then uh, once the full BAA is released, there'll be a new alias, so this one will be disabled. After this proposer's day, IARPA will review all the feedback and questions. Um, for a final BAA to be posted on the SAM.gov website. Next slide. So collaboration is highly encouraged. Uh, this is true for our, uh, all IARPA programs, but Rescind is an extremely interdisciplinary endeavor. Um, so the lightning talk session will be again at 11.30. Um, we'll have our remote participants first and then we'll have our in-person participants after. Um, after lightning talks, we'll have anyone who's uh, brought a poster, is feel free to um, display your poster and discuss it during the teaming discussions, which will begin at 2 p.m. Uh, this is for in-person participants only. So remote participants are encouraged to organize their own teaming discussions. 
and uh, the capability statements will be received and hosted publicly pending minimal review. Uh, they can be sent to the alias. Uh, and this is just for you to explore collaborations and resources for forming the best proposals. So the government's evaluation resides only with the proposal itself. Next slide. So here's our agenda. So the only change uh, from the printed out one is that we're asking for questions to be submitted by 940, so 20 minutes before the agenda says. Uh, next slide. And then we get into our lightning talks, which will be five minutes each. Next slide. And then um, at the end, we will be able to have our in-person poster session and informal teaming discussions for which the government will not be present. So that'll be uh, for you guys to do. Next slide. So next we're going to, oh, I need to tell you that the emergency exits are back where you came from and behind you and then here. Um, and so next you're going to be getting an IARPA, a quick IARPA overview um, from Rob Raymer, who is the director of the IARPA Office of Analysis. All right, good morning, everyone. I see a lot of familiar faces, which is a good thing. Uh, next slide, please. So for those who have not worked with IARPA in the past, we are part of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, uh, who is central to the collaboration um, across the IC. And one of the main roles of, of the ODNI is to support innovation and invest in innovation. Next slide, please. And what IARPA does in our main mission is to invest, next slide, please, invest in high risk, high payoff research uh, to provide an overwhelming advantage. Um, and we do this through complex and multidisciplinary research, as Kimberly mentioned earlier. Uh, there will be a heavy focus in psychology and cybersecurity uh, for the Rescind program, and you'll see more in just a few minutes. And we emphasize technical excellence and, excellence and technical truth. Um, we evaluate our programs through independent evaluators, and even if programs don't work out and they fail, um, we do we accept failure as long as we can document it, publish it, um, and understand where may, if you have a larger type of system, where some of the components may work, subcomponents may work, and may, maybe where they don't work best. Um, so we do try to transition uh, technologies even if the overall program goals are not met. So next slide, please. So our method is to bring the best and brightest uh, from around the world to support um, and solve, help us solve our very difficult problems. Um, so that's through researchers like yourselves and those uh, attending virtually, but also through term limited, term limited program managers. All of our programs, uh, program managers have expiration dates, as well as our programs, our, our large programs are typically three to five years. Uh, and it all starts with answering the Heilmeier questions. We have the five Heilmeier questions that IRPA um, has program managers go through. It is a lengthy process, and you've, you've seen, I, I became the office director a little over two years ago, and we're churning out, uh, we're ended the pandemic, and we're finally churning out programs. It takes a lot to recruit program managers, put together um, some concise thoughts through answering the Heilmeier questions, and also develop measures uh, to, to make sure we can measure progress, both success and failures, and, um, make sure we can transition to our partners. Our partners are involved in these programs from the beginning. They help us develop programs. Um, and lastly, um, the goal is to transition these, these systems to, to the intelligence community. Next slide, please. So during execution of, of these programs, again, technical and prog programmatic excellence is required. We do hire national labs, FFRDCs, and UARCs to perform independent evaluation of our programs. We have six-month progr progress checks with the director where the program manager must provide um, progress on not just performer work, the research, but also t &E work. Uh, and oftentimes that's in the form of quantitative and qualitative results um, and other measures that, that we, um, you'll, you'll see in the BAA. And every program, just like our program managers, uh, our programs have a beginning and an end. And we don't institutionalize programs at IARPA. Um, we, we're not an operational organization. Our goal is to transition uh, to, to the IC uh, components and um, Get, get them uh, to invest in the operational aspects of, of the technology. Uh, status quo is always questions, and the best ideas are always per pursued, and only the best performers are funded. So um, we do typically uh, offer multiple awards. We do the, we, we have a broad agency announcements. There are the BAA, as Kimberly mentioned, which many of you are familiar with, and we oftentimes award multiple um, ideas to solve our problems. Next slide, please. So just a quick snapshot of IARPA, we have uh, in the Office of Analysis, we have many programs in computer vision, uh, human language technology, cyber operations, uh, biometrics. Um, we, about 70% of our completed research is transitioned to government agencies. We've had over 3,000 uh, peer-reviewed 
uh, articles published, journals, journal articles published, and um, our researchers have been nominated for many prestigious awards. Uh, additionally, our program managers don't just manage programs, they're part of IC collaboration and also industry uh, collaboration uh, working groups, um, and they're typically experts in their fields. And with that, um, before I transition, next slide please. Um, how to engage with us, this is one of the first steps, a proposer's day here, what, this is the first public announcement and discussion about the program, this is a forum for you to ask questions, to team. Um, we also have RFIs and if you're paying attention, we did release an RFI related to this program even though it wasn't called the Rescind RFI back, I think it was last summer, by the beginning of last summer to help us close the gap and, and write up um, and develop a new start pitch and, and start drafting the BAA. We also have seedlings. Uh, these have changed over time and evolved into what we call super seedlings. And instead of just having a generic uh, you know, one year type of, of, of funding mechanism, uh, we have more narrow, uh, narrowly scoped topics uh, of recent, uh, of recent um, Recent seedlings were the B24IC, Biointelligence, Biosecurity for the Intelligence Community, and also the Microelectronics for Artificial Intelligence seedling uh, pr program. And we typically award anywhere from six to 10 um, uh, focused seedlings to hopefully turn into larger programs. And with that said, I can answer any questions. Um, you can, my email is on the website. You can contact IRPA, call, call this number, and, and we can be in touch. I'm always looking to recruit new, new, smart, intelligent program managers that have great ideas. We don't just hire people. We hire people and ideas, and we're looking to um, start new programs, um, especially in the Office of Analysis and, and my colleague, Pedro Espina, in the Office of Collections. Um, and with, with that, shame, that, that, that plug, I will, uh, shameless plug, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Kimberly while you're here. Thanks.